the whole world He's got the whole world in his hands No matter what you're going through See my God is there for me and you He will always carry us through The trial
the whole world He's got the whole world in his hands No matter what you're going through See my God is there for me and you He will always carry us through The trial
Oh, yes, Woo-hoo. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it is Virtual Open Day yes, it is. <laughs> at 2021. And we are back. We are back. I am I your host, you. Anton Charles, with the lovely. <laughs> And of course, your boy, Isaiah Boisso. And this time, we're looking out for all you people yep. everywhere around the world. If you're from Trinidad and Tobago, big up yourself. <laughs> San Lucia, big up your whole self. Antigua, Dominica, Barbuda. Oh my god, this I, is I so forgot the rest cool. of the islands, man. Oh cool. my gosh. <laughs> but they'll help us out because they'll post their yeah. um, countries. Jamaica, are you here? Africa. Put them down in the chat, man. The United States of America. Uh, yes, guys, this is Open Day 2021. We're back again <laughs> with some live music and a weird voice that's going <laughs> to wear out. My voice is dry now. <laughs> <laughs> but this is all the hype for some. Open yeah, Day yeah. 2021. Thursday, coming to you live. All right, well, that's enough of that. What's <laughs> up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm to open day 2021, man. I am, yeah. as we said, host Anton Charles, the lovely Miss Caden Essen, and your boy. I see you. That's right. And we are back again, man. So just to give you some information, you know, for some of you new people that are now joining us today, Caden yeah. Essen, would you take them through some general info? Sure, Anton. Why not? Okay, so today we are... Am <laughs> we I are echoing? <laughs> yes, you I'm are. Uh, we are echoing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today is going to be a pretty interesting day. We are going to take a run through the School of Humanities and Education, mm-hmm. and there's some interesting things waiting for you in this session. So, Kaden, you was a part of the School of he- Education and Humanities. I was, yeah. I was, and I feel as though I still am. <laughs> it's, it's there with me, it will always be with me, and yeah. that is what happens when you come to USC and you enroll in a program, it's going to be there with you forever. Yes, it is. It's a part of you that's never going yes. to leave. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, today we're going to meet our professors, we're going to meet some current students, we're going to mm-hmm. meet some recruitment and admissions, mm-hmm. we're going to meet some team members and your potential classmates from all all the comfort, as we said on Tuesday, from your couch, mm-hmm. from your bed, from your bathroom, from your bathroom, yeah, from, from your the kitchen. mango tree, from the mango tree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all in the comfort yes, of your home. Exactly. Some of, you might, some of you might not even be wearing pants. Yes. You know, but that's okay. Because <laughs> we, we don't need to know that. We don't need to know that. You we, know, know, we can't see. That's you. a secret. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. So let's dive in, man. Open day general details to note, man. Again, yeah. application deadline for undergraduate programs, right, is August twenty. If it was pushed back it has all the been way extended. exactly to August 20th, 2021, right? So that's for you guys trying to apply for the undergraduate programs. Now for you graduate um, program, you know, those who want to apply for the graduate programs, the deadline for that is August 15th. Yeah. Mark that date, right? That's pretty close. That's coming up just now. Coming up. 10 days, man, right? And of course, if you want to view all of the offered programs, you know, from USC, we're going to say this website a lot today. Yes. Please go to usc.edu.tt forward slash apply. One more time for the people. Go for it, man. usc.edu.tt forward slash apply. And and that's where you're going to get all the information that you're going to need for, you know, applying for all the undergraduate to graduate programs here at USC. Of course, you know, the virtual open day website is usc.edu.tt forward slash open day, right? And you could go there to view all the open day sessions, right? All the sessions recordings from when it started, you know, early this week up until now, it's going to stay there and it's going to be available for viewing so that if you need any information or you want to, you know, learn some more stuff that you might have missed out, then you could go back and check that out. And if you don't know our social media handles, Mm -hmm. let's remind you, Facebook, USCTT, and our Instagram page, USCTT. That's right, brother. That's that's right, Isaiah and yeah. Anton. And we have a current campaign that the school is known for. It is hashtag USC Strong. Okay, whenever you want to take your photos on social media, hashtag us. Tag us. <laughs> hashtag we will guys. See that and um, we will share it. Some of our some of our very important taglines are undergraduate, you know, excel accelerate your career with a degree that's hashtag. USC strong Mm -hmm. for graduate students elevate your career with a graduate degree that's hashtag USC strong sponsorship guys (laughs) 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 you know we have
have to do this. We have to put in our shameless value. Oh, of course, Media we plug. have to put in that plug. USC.edu.tt <laughs> forward slash VVM. And for those of you Valley who don't Voice know, Media. And for those of you who don't know what Valley Voice Media is, mm. what is, what is Valley Voice Media? <laughs> It's where we sit and talk to you about our problems. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought that was the student forum. That's not the student forum. Isn't that the USC <laughs> student forum? I don't think that's what the forum is for, but, you know, it happens. Oh, man. Okay, man. Valley Voice Media um, podcast, we bring current affairs to you. Yeah. We bring new things, you know. We talk about what's happening within the university, what's happening outside of the university that's somehow related. We talk about you. We give you some good advice, mm -hmm. you know. Um, some stories. And we want to teach you some things. We want you to even come on board with us. True, yeah. You know, so if you are into... Graphic design, multimedia, hosting, mm -hmm. being a fool on, you know, live If you just want to move a chair. That's right. We, we are going to take you. We're going to take you. So come to us, Valley Voice Media, yes. man. Yeah. All right. Well, that is all the general info that we have for you. Kaden, why don't we take us through what's going to be going down today? Sure. Okay, so for today's open day program, as we know, School of Education and Humanities, mm -hmm. we are going to have an introduction. Oh, we're actually going to introduce the Dean mm. as she has her open day remarks for yeah. us, Dr. Lavon Jacobs Brown. <laughs> no, I, I forgot we had that button. I really <laughs> hope it's coming through, though. That's all I think. <laughs> ah, ah. So, Dr. Levon Jacobs Brown is, is going to be doing her opening remarks. So, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for those remarks. Dr. Brown, off to you. Then, intro to our program. Um, it makes me feel as though, you know, I'm a student. Again, I'm all engaged with you all and your taglines and so on. Very, very interesting. Thank you. All right. So good afternoon, everyone. I am very, very excited to have you all here today. Um, it's always a very nice time, open day, because it's the time when we get to meet all our potential students. I'm always very, very excited to meet new students and of course you have made an excellent choice this afternoon to visit our school of education and humanities openly i will definitely say it is the school with the most vibes i'm certain um kaden could attest to that i'm certain anton could also attest to that and isaiah may not want to but i'm sure he can also attest to that but it's great to have you all here today today at the school of education and humanities we offer degrees in english degrees in history social studies in music degrees in education all right we have some of the most if not the most excellent faculty. I mean, USC generally, at USC, we are well known for the type of faculty we have. Faculty that are committed, that are caring. Here at USC, specifically at the School of Education and Humanities, you have faculty members who will nurture you. So you don't have to be scared about not being ready for university because our faculty will personally provide mentorship, they will provide guidance, they will provide advice. You know, um, in particular in this pandemic time, some of our faculty members would even email you personally or private message you or send you a message on Facebook or give you a call to find out how you are. You know, so I will, you know, just like to say that at first, our, our faculty, they are very, very committed, very, very caring. And that's what I love about our school in particular. So um, in a little while, Dr. Campbell Sanderson will tell you some more about our degrees in English. At our school as well, you also have exciting things like the um, Future Leaders Debating Competition. You know, from time to time, we've had what we call wacky-tacky competitions. You know, we have, um, 
what we call the EDHAM Humanities um, Education and Humanities Forum. We have a number of interesting events. Our students are always very engaged. They are always involved in campus activities. We are very, very, very excited and excitable at the School of Education and Humanities. Like I mentioned, we do offer degrees in history and social studies. So if you're interested, you know, let us know. Um, we would not go into too much details on the history today. Um, it has not been offered for a while, but it will be back on the book. So again, if you're interested, let us know. Um, I will at this time turn you over to Dr. Campbell Sanderson, um, who will talk to us a bit about language and communication right before, right after we do our um, introductory audio slash video. So thank you again for coming. In fact, I congratulate you for coming to our School of Education and Humanities openly. And I'm looking forward to meeting each one of you guys personally. much for being here with us once again we thank you so much for tuning in and now we're gonna get into some ice breaking very good take a mallet and smash that ice and <laughs> here to do that for us is miss ashley burnett with a spoken word video Ooh. cue the video yes ma'am Hi y'all, I am Ashley Burnett and I am actually a recent graduate of USC with a BA in English. So I mean, a lot of people ask me like, what are you going to do with an English degree? Because they thought that my chances were quite limited for doing a degree like that. But we have something to say to them, right? In high school, all they cared about was science and business. The Holy Trinity was all we had to choose from. Is either you become a lawyer, a doctor, or an engineer. You and the red shirt, I am pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Say one of the music now. They tell you that it's good. A good excuse to skip class and play in Sandfest. And art? That was a hobby. Something just to enjoy. A decoy from coloring within the lines of our exam papers. They tell us to make paper. Do so good, we make the papers. So when they read the papers, they feel good. But I've read the papers and didn't feel so good. See refineries shutting down. See national teams begging for money to represent their countries. See poets get a small play pages before the obituaries. We've been hearing we need to diversify the economy. Since Noah was a little boy. Well, he's grown now. Hands long enough to stretch cupped hands for money. Begging for help. To put our island on the same map we had to draw in classrooms to them it is easier to meet us in the airport than to help us leave it echo the success but stifle the voices sign our name in an imaginary hall of fame rename promenades and stadiums after us i don't know much but i know that a country that utilizes its human resources will always be renewed at usc you get a chance to be renewed and art and sports it's all good fuel to do that. You can't shut down a person. Your strength, talent, and wisdom comes from within. You have a chance to be any type of you. Thank you all. So, I hope that on this open day, you'll have a really great time. USC is an amazing place with amazing lecturers and amazing school culture. It really is some, a place where you get to learn about yourself, learn about other cultures and other people, it is truly a chance to renew you. Welcome to the Language and Communication Department at the University of the Southern Caribbean, USC. We offer an exciting and exhilarating English degree program, which equips our students with the skills and capabilities that they need to stand out and be successful. We offer a contemporary English degree program, which provides our students with several career options. Our graduates are teachers, writers, lawyers, editors, journalists, professors, life coaches, motivational speakers, politicians, and the list goes on. Again, 
Welcome to the Language and Communication Department at the University of the Southern Caribbean, USC. Apply online for the English degree on the USC website today. See you soon. Language and Communication Department at the University of the Southern Caribbean, USC. And welcome back, guys. What is up? Yes, man. So we're moving quite swiftly along. Kaden, tell the people what's coming up next. All man. right. So what we have next, we're going to welcome our lovely Humanities and Education Chair, Miss Campbell Sanderson. Mm, yeah. Ms. Anderson. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. You all have made my work so easy. I'm supposed to be here promoting history and English, but the lecturers have done it, the students have already done it, so I can just sit here and look pretty and be fine. However, I know you want to hear something from me, so I will just share with you what I have. Um, very often you hear people say history. That's a dead subject. Or you may hear them ask English, study English. What can I do with an English degree? Well, good afternoon. I am Dr. Campbell Sanders and I'm at USC, the University of the Southern Caribbean. I serve as the chairperson of the humanities department where we offer degrees in history and English. And this morning, I have answers for you. Now, one of our lecturers already highlighted some of the um, careers that our students would have gone into upon graduation. So I just want to spend some time looking at the English degree and the history degree. And to talk a little about the history degree, I'm going to ask Dr. Jacobs Brown to join me here because she's an English professor. Her doctoral study is in history, so she would have interfaced with some of her history students in the classroom as dean, but also as lecturer. So can you tell us a little bit about this degree? Sure, not a problem. As you know, if you want to get me very excited, you just get <laughs> with history. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody knows that. You know, um, so uh, history, like you said, people always say, why study history? But then why not study history? If you really want to know who you are, then you actually need to know your history. And while I agree that everybody doesn't need to be a historian or a history teacher or what have you, everybody really needs to know about who they are. So we offer courses in West Indian and Caribbean history, in European history, in women's history, in Latin American history, and political, medieval, world civilization, and so on. And with a history degree, like all humanities degree, I was so speeding along earlier, I you know, um, forgot to mention that one of the best thing any student can do, in particular, if you're not too certain about you know, where you want to go is to do a degree in the humanities, whether it's history, in particular history, English, you know, communication, education kind of thing, in particular the first three. Because what it does, it gives you a very broad platform. It sets a foundation for you. It serves as a launching pad to navigate a number of different career options. All right. And Specifically with um, the history degree, you are trained to think in a particular way. You are, are trained to be critical thinkers. You are trained to be able to analyze trends so that you would find that a lot of history graduates, they end up in marketing, they end up in a lot of managerial positions and, and the likes because they trained you in a particular way. A number, um, probably, let me not quote a percentage, but a lot of our graduates end up in law. And in at law school, your first year or year and a half, it's focused primarily on history, history programs, history courses, because of the need to have your mind trained in a particular, um, in a particular way. But I, I want to say, you know, for the school generally, our main, one of our main focus as it relates to the development of skills 
is the development of that critical thinking still that seems to be very absent these days. You know, our programs are geared towards the development of critical thinkers. And if you could just allow me a few more seconds, Dr. Campbell Sanderson. Mm -hmm. I also, um, in my intro, wanted to talk about um, our Yes USC initiative. You know, the Youth Empowerment for a Stronger Society pro Mentorship Program. In that program, we focus on assisting young people at the secondary school level to develop life skills and to provide support in your content. So we have done that. It actually came out of the history department, but we have expanded it to English and music. So at your secondary schools, your, your um, teachers may be having issues with certain parts of the content and the SBAs. We provide support for you in that through the development of the Yes USC mentorship program. So thank you very much, Dr. Campbell Sanderson. Okay, thank you so much. Now, the other degree we offer in humanities is our English degree. And the English de degree reflects three areas of emphasis, literature and language, communication, and linguistics and education. Now, for the student who wants to get into the teaching of English, the recommendation from the Ministry of Education is that they do the linguistics and education component, all right, or this emphasis, because it allows you to get into things like classroom management and it allows you to understand the structure of the English language and the phonetics and the morphology and all of those nice things that you need in order to better understand how the language has developed. But we also have within those courses things like literature, different types of literature, contemporary literature, women's literature, West Indian literature to a large extent, because we're in a West Indian culture. So we need to understand who we are, our identity based on our history and reflected in our written work. Our degree is also holistic in its approach as it offers the opportunity for students to be exposed to courses not directly linked to their field of study. So when you enter into the University of the Southern Caribbean, you are actually opening up your mind to a vast, um, a vast place of knowledge, a vast platform, because you're going to find that you'll have to do some courses in, in, in theology, of course, because we're a Christian-based institution. And we want to make sure that when you leave, you have some sense of integrity so you can impart knowledge and strength to our society, strength in terms of decision making, all right, and setting goals, those type of things that make you a better person. So we expose you to different courses. You have courses in music. So you may not come here to study a degree in music, but you're going to have to do something in music and fine arts. So you get to understand and appreciate a painting. Right? You have to do some things in science and, and other areas so that you are better prepared for life. So if you're placed in a situation where you need to converse on any particular topic, you have some material there in the gray matter that you can pull out and share. In this way, our students leave knowing a little bit about everything and a whole lot about the English language. Above all, the English language degree program at USC offers the upper level students the opportunity to experience work in the actual field they wish to engage. So the students who want to work in communications or international relations or any other field can spend a semester in the field before graduation. You know, sometimes you think this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. But then when you're placed in the environment, you realize this is not what I want. We offer that option to you before you graduate. So you have a sense of what I would say OJT, 
on the job training, what to expect in this job. So you don't go outside of the comfort of the university without first having an opportunity to embark on this type of on the job training that will help you as you move forward. All of these are reflected in our program against a backdrop of caring, knowledgeable lecturers. As the Dean said, these lecturers who I work with and I, I engage with, they are the type of people who don't just stand in the classroom and teach, but they're also caring. So you have a problem, they dig in their pockets to help you if that's where the need is. They're the type of lecturers who come together and pray under the directive of our dean. We meet every Wednesday morning to pray for our students, to pray for their families, to reach out to those who may have lost um, loved ones or may have lost their home through fire or some other thing. All right. So we are here with you for the long haul. These are the things that await you as a USC English major. But you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Let's invite some of our students, past like Kaden and current, to share their experiences with us. I'm an English major at USC. To me, the three main skills that you learn as an English major are analyzing, understanding, and expression. And understanding and expression in particular, two things that work together that give you a lot of confidence. Because when you understand yourself and you're able to express that and bring that across, not only does it benefit your personal life, but it also benefits your professional life. And having confidence can really let you establish yourself in a company and in a career. And that's really benefited me. Um, because I've been able to have such good relationships with people who are in management positions, people who are in different levels of service, different years of service, um, and just having such a good environment that I can actively be a part of and make a difference in. And I think that's what we all want as graduates, to know that we can transition these skills from the classroom into our professional careers and don't just work and you know not contribute but you know we really want to know that we can make a difference um and by making a difference in our organizations make a difference in society by extension so that's how the program has benefited me and i believe will benefit a lot of other graduates hello everyone my name is dylan olivier i am a second year english major from saint vincent and the grenadines Prior to enrolling at the University of the Southern Caribbean, I would have wanted to publish a book of poetry. At the end of my first year, that goal was realized, as my writing and analytical skills were enhanced. One thing that stands out most, however, is that I am more conscious now about what I say and how I say it. If you are considering enrolling at USC, I encourage you to do so without hesitation. Come, come and be a part of our family. Come, come let us learn together at USC. I am Kaden Esson, an undergraduate senior within the English department where my emphasis lies in education and linguistics. With the English department, there's an enormous amount of wisdom waiting to be explored. What I find most valuable is the profound sense of empowerment, knowing that we already have everything we need to succeed and that all it takes is, is the willingness to work hard and take consistent efforts. The lecturers are selfless, caring, and enthusiastic about what they teach, and they make it their priority to work with students to their success. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again. Yes, oh, thank you, viewing audience. Come on, man. 
Settle down, settle down. Thank you. Welcome back again to the Late Night Show. I am your host, Jimmy Fallon. No, that's not true. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Afternoon Show. Yes. Afternoon Show, man. Virtual <laughs> Open Day 2021. Yes. And we are here with the, the, the School of Education and Humanities, man. And again, for those of you now joining us, um, you could just play back the video if you want. <laughs> from that, like, we're not going to repeat all that stuff again, right? But it's Education and Humanities. Um, yeah. Some of the degrees that are offered, you know, is the English. Eh? We got English yes. majors, right? We got music majors. What else do we have in, in the School of Education and Humanities? We have, um, well, there's three emphases. You mm -hmm. know, there's linguistic and education, there's communication, and there's literature. Oh, sweet. So we have a, a nice plethora <laughs> of... Uh, Emphasis, and let me tell you guys, mm. education, okay, I have a thing for Greek mythology, right? Yeah. But I expected to learn about that when I came to USC, but yeah. then I realized that a lot of um, more interesting information and very important information came from literature and like post... Apocalyptic? No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of novels. English is about reading, education yeah, is. is about reading, linguistics is amazing, and you're going to meet wonderful lecturers. I'm going to call out some of you real quick mm. who I saw very often and had classes with very often. So that will be uh, Mrs. Liba, Liba Ann Ferreira. <laughs> she will be your linguistic lecturer, you know. Um, we have Miss Mondrichard, we have Miss Bendeshe. Let's keep the round of applause here. <laughs> Listen, if it is you think you know a lot about literature, Mrs. Nicole Bangoshe is going to school you. Oh, yeah. All right? Sure, She's going to make your classes so interesting. She is a drama perfectionist. Like, listen, this woman, <laughs> she got you. Miss Faye White is amazing. Yeah. You know, an amazing thing that I loved about her classes is that she leaves you feeling empowered. Mm. So she gives you books to read, and then you're going to be like, am I supposed to be reading this? <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> but why? Well, that's why you have to join the English program. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Like that is yeah. why. Yeah. Okay. You have to have it in person, <laughs> I have been reading books, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and guys, it's amazing. You leave refreshed and so much more educated. You have chances to present at research day. You, ha you can yeah, that's a great opportunity. argue and debate your, your points on guys. It's oh, amazing. Wow. And I hope yeah. you, you join here and have an amazing time. And right before we um, continue, let's, let's, introduce, let's introduce the education chair again once more, Ms. Mm. Lavonne Jacobs-Brown. Before we go there, we need to, you know, Indicate that if yes. you have any questions, you could put it in the chat and we will answer in a Q&A session mm -hmm, mm -hmm, afterwards. Mm -hmm. so drop yeah. them questions. Drop those questions. That was not a sound of something <laughs> falling in the background. No, ladies and gentlemen. Just drop the questions, <laughs> guys. Yeah, yeah, drop the questions <laughs> in the chat and we'll be okay. All right. So we're on to Dr. Brown. Dr. Brown, are you there, doctor? It's your time. <laughs> Thank you guys very much again. Um, thank you very much, Kiran, for that excellent promo for the Language and Communications Department. And it just go, goes to show that it is not put on. And what she is saying about the English program is true for the education program, for the history program, and for the music program. It's typical of our school. All right, so um, the chair, Miss. Nicole Fraser, unfortunately, isn't able to be here with us this afternoon. So um, as Dean, I am able to tell you a whole lot about the education program. So at the School of Education and Humanities, we offer degrees in primary education, a Bachelor of Science in primary education, Bachelor of Science in early childhood education, and a Bachelor of Science um, in educational studies with an emphasis in special education. That program is specifically, um, that program is online. Let's talk about the Bachelor of Science in primary education. Now, with the Bachelor of Science in primary education, you are able to work in any primary school in Trinidad and Tobago or throughout the world. It equips you 
to be a very, very excellent teacher. Our teachers are very hands-on and they nurture our students individually. You have your teaching seminars where you are taught before um, you are taught how to teach before you are actually sent into the um, real primary school classroom environment in practicum. So from the very first year, first semester, you are taught about philosophies in education. You are taught about the principles and practices of education and, and so on. So the teachers groom you, the lecturers groom you and they nurture you. Usually, whereas the humanities students are very kind of wild and wacky and adventurous, the education students are usually very, a whole lot more demure and serious and you know that kind of thing and um subtle and so there is also in the department of education um an education club where again um students are mentored by faculty where they are engaged in several ways and they are encouraged to do research and so on the education department also partners with primary school they partner with theirs uh, we have uh, um, the Maracas SDA primary school on the university's compound so the department partners with that school we also partner with other schools in the community so that by the um, beginning of your third year students are sent out into the primary school environment where they are actually able to become engaged in their teaching practice exercise. Our education program, in fact, is the longest program at the University of the Southern Caribbean. This program actually got started in the early 1970s and was well and still is well recognized by the Ministry of Education. The thing about our program as well is that you know we work hand in hand with the ministry of education so that when it was time for the ministry to update its curriculum they held meetings with us and you know we were able to tweak our program to ensure that everything is in line with the standard that the ministry of education requires Additionally, you know, principals will tell you, and they have told us, they have, they have said to me specifically, you know, that our students are very skilled, not just in the content, but in the soft skills. Soft skills, you know, like being very respectful, being very committed, being um, timely, knowing how to conduct themselves professionally. Our students over the years, have been very, very outstanding in that area. And it is because of the total package that we offer at the University of the Southern Caribbean, where we seek to develop your mind as well as your hands. We seek to develop you intellectually, emotionally, socially, and spiritually. We also, um, from the education department, we have a plot of land where our students are able to engage freely in agriculture as part of their program. Because remember, going into primary school, you have to have a very good handle on all of the um, curriculum content. So agriculture is part of our program. And while doing that course, students are able to do their labs, plant their vegetables and so on, and learn in a very real way. So that primary education program is a very excellent one. And we are happy for all those of you who are interested in becoming a primary school teacher. And, you know, these days I recognize a lot of young people, you know, um, they are shying away from the teaching profession. But let me just say that it is, being a teacher is the most powerful job that you can ever have the most powerful because you are actually able to hold in your hands the minds of children, whether in primary, whether in preschool, primary school, secondary school, or at the university level. It is an extremely important job and it is an extremely powerful job. 
teachers in the time in times past have been responsible for engineers and doctors and lawyers and what have you and unfortunately also for social misfits like Mussolini and Hitler and it would have been the negative impact of teachers so it's just to show you how very very powerful you know the role of a teacher is so do not shy away from it and I also said we have um, a degree in early childhood education so it's the only one of its kind in the Caribbean in Trinidad and Tobago in other universities you may have primary education with an emphasis in early childhood but at our university we have a whole degree in early childhood and I know elsewhere if you do based on what the ministry requires what they want is not just an emphasis they want a degree in early childhood education so if you want to you know be a preschool administrator if you want to work with the younger minds then the place for you is to do a degree in early childhood and as i mentioned earlier we also have a degree in bachelor of uh, the bachelor of educational studies with an emphasis in um special education and that program is completely online and of course we have a lot of people who are pretty interested in that program because these days we do have a lot of exceptional children. Um, we do have a lot of students who need to understand inclusion, who need to be included, you know, in the mainstream primary school system. So if you are interested in education, that is definitely a good way to go because it is one of the developmental goals you know of the united nations to have inclusion to have all teachers trained in inclusion and special education so i'll stop now and i'll leave the rest for the questions and answer segment i know mr hislop is raring to go with our next exciting program music program that is the program that keeps us in the school on our toes there's always something happening sometimes i can't even keep up it's so many so many exciting things always a recital a concert a performance a trip something very very exciting but mr hislop will tell you more about that so i'll turn you over to the next in line on the program
All right, ladies and gentlemen, and yet again, we are back. We hope you enjoyed that little USC tribute video right there of campus life, which you probably won't be experiencing. Um, oh, you know. my gosh. <laughs> well, at least I had to drop it down, man. It's COVID. But it's These not true. No. Let's be real. <laughs> I, I, we're, we're going now. <laughs> it's a tease. It's a tease for what's to come, man, when yes. you finally get here. You know, just like really, you know, saturate the minds with the beauty, the scenery, the yeah. greenery, the zooms and everything, right? It's a mm -hmm. campus life. It's really awesome to be very yes, honest, man. And you would you would love it, man. All of you the 18 scenery. students. Right? So oh <laughs> <laughs> <And turn. laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> we, we love fun. you guys and we appreciate your attendance. Of okay? course we do. We do. We appreciate each and every one of you. And for those who are going to view us afterwards. Yes. So, man. Yeah. We can't just put a number. Too. True, true. All of <laughs> thousand, right? Two thousand five hundred students watching right now. You yes. know, whether now, um, next week, week after next, or in twenty twenty three, right? You know, USC is the place to be. If you're in primary yes. school, you know, think about applying now, right? <laughs> CXC is, is is but something in the future. University, though, mm, that's 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 forever. Yeah. No, it really isn't. But it's amazing experience that you will only have once. In your lifetime, unless yeah. unless you come back and, and then you do it again, it's like Anton, like me, it's yeah. twice in your lifetime. You know, it's it's that good, right? It's mm -hmm. really that good. This right? boy doesn't want to let it go. Not really, you know. I, I can't I can't let get it away from it. It's like a bubble that just like sucks yeah. you into yeah. you know its vortex of space. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, so much so, man. So I came back to do the music degree, right? La musica, la musica. <laughs> that Spanish? No, it, I was, don't know. it was the French, yeah. right? <laughs> the musica. Right? That's right. And the music department. Um, it's it, it's so big, right? As it pertains to you know what it does, what the potential students contribute to it, um, and you know their visions and stuff like that. And I don't want to ramble on just yet, cause I will, cause I have to, cause I'm a music. Of major. course you have. It to. would be remiss of me not to boast my. We want to hear it. Yeah, right. But. First, I'm going to allow you to hear from the coordinator of said music department, mm -hmm. Monsieur Keron. That's two R's. Keron Hislop. Oh Mr. Gosh. Keron Hislop, the music program yeah. coordinator. What's USC without music? Exactly. No, quite literally. The mastermind behind the music. You literally cannot spell the word music yeah. without the letters no. U, S, C. and C. Yeah. Think mm. about that. Stay exactly. woke, kids. Stay, Stay woke. woke. <laughs> All right. So, Monsieur <laughs> Keron Hislop, we're going to you live. Live. <laughs> this university has honestly helped me to improve. My experience in the music department has been really good. It's been amazing. I was amazed by the performances. It has made me grow a lot. At USC Music, you need to expect a lot of performances. What I really enjoy about the, the program are the performances. One day you might be in Point Fortin performing. One day you might be in Tobago. One day you might be in Barbados. You never know. Don't just go into it half out of it. You have to give it your all. If it's something you love, you give it your all. The friends that I make here, like top notch, amazing friends, you know, other musicians I get to collaborate with. Our goal at USC Music is to be just as good, or in fact, even better than the top universities are broke. Right here at USC Music, we prove that you can get a good music education right here in the Caribbean. Hey, 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 good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I want to say thanks to the host um, for doing such a fantastic job. Thank you guys for stealing my tagline, because that's the first thing I was going to um, talk about, you know, that the fact that there is no music without USC. And, um, you know, USC is literally right in the middle of music. So um, you guys have been hearing quite a lot of um a lot of talk so far and so I for those of you from Trinidad I want to do um, probably like um, you know the tagline for music radio 97 and probably give you more music and less talk all right um, basically speaking you know of the music department is the most exciting department on the um, entire university campus and we offer a range of programs from the music minor to uh, that's for those who are doing um, you know other degrees you might be doing chemistry 
education, history, whatever it is, but you are a musician, you want to improve your musical skills, then the music minor is for you. We offer also an associate degree in uh, music that takes two years to complete. And we also have a flagship program, which is the BA in music. Right now, we offer an emphasis in music education, and we are going to be uh, bringing on stream as well the emphasis in music technology. So you have a lot of options to choose from. Even if you are not uh, studying music at USC, um, we welcome you to participate if you're a musician, you sing, you play an instrument, and you would have seen and heard from the students um, that, that spoke in the video previously, you would see that there are a lot, a lot of performance opportunities um, for you as a musician. And not only, well, the video obviously would have been made in pre-COVID times, um, so you might be asking yourself, you know, what opportunities exist um, now that we are in a pandemic, and and, um, you know, I like to say pandemic, shmandemic, the music goes on, you know, so we have found ways to make sure um, that the music stays alive and you are going to be seeing um, the results of that. Uh, we're going to play, I think, one of our music videos or virtual music videos for you in just a second. All right. So you might be asking yourself, what are some of the things that I can do uh, with a music degree? I think one of the videos before talked about, you know, the, the fact that music is, is viewed as a hobby. Um, but really and truly, music is one of the uh, most important aspects in all of our lives. It's the one thing that ties all of us together. There isn't one person out there who does not like some form of music, even if you can't carry a note in a bucket, even if you can't sing, you can't play, you know, you can enjoy music. So that is one of the, the things that, that ties all of us as human beings together, our appreciation of music. So um, our degree prepares you to be able to function in a number of different areas. You can be a, a music teacher at the, the primary, secondary school level. You can have your own music studio. You can be a performing artist and a accompanist. Um, you can go into audio engineering and production and Anton might want to tell you a little bit about that um, you know film television media you can be a, a, a choral or band director you can be a, a music director at your church you know um, for those of you who are into that so there are a, a plethora of opportunities to use one of Caden's um, words Caden's words um, for you if you decide to go into music and um, the presenters who would have gone before would have talked a lot about um, some of the things that make our program unique. And if you guys can just pull up the flyer, um, we're going to send this flyer to you as well. So I'm going to skip those things that are, are, are common to... Um, to the School of Education in general, you know, we talked about the great faculty and the great environment, you know, being nestled in the um, in the hills of the lush Maracas Valley and and so forth and so forth. Um, so I'm going to skip all of that and 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 just look specifically at the music. All right. Our students in that video, they mentioned the fact that there are a lot of performance opportunities. We have ensembles from large to small. Our largest ensemble is our unit university choir and orchestra, which um, on a good day pre-COVID would get up to about 100, 120 people. You know, imagine a, a mass choir performing with um, a live orchestra every time they perform. And, um, you know, you can check out these performances, some of them on our YouTube channel uh, when you have the time. Right, so a lot of performances from the, the huge um, ensembles to the small ensembles of, uh, you know, um, flute quartet, sax quartet, mixed ensemble. We just put out a, a mixed ensemble video uh, just last week, some new music on our YouTube channel. We want you guys to check it out. You might recognize uh, one of our hosts in that video. So there are a lot, a lot of opportunities for performances, whether we are in a pandemic or not. All right. Um, we focus very heavily on the fact that we prepare you for service to get out there and to be immediately ready to make a contribution to society. We have what is known as the uh, USC Music Academy. 
and that is our a, a branch of our department that um, gives our students opportunities to hone their skills right we just finished last week a very very successful virtual summer camp where students were able to um, to engage in different areas study areas like music technology visual arts we had a junior camp we had concert band we had um, orchestra you know and this was uh, this whole uh, camp you know was put on and administrated and, and run by our students this music academy also provides our music students with teaching opportunities you know and that helps them to to be able to hone their skills in terms of um you know understanding and, and being able to apply the methods that they learn in the classroom to be able to to, to work with students and teach students even before they get into, um, into the job market. And of course, one great aspect of the Music Academy is that it can help to earn our um, tutors, which by far, far and large are students, some extra cash because it's not done for free. The students pay for the lessons and the students um, get paid, the tutors get paid, all right? So that, that's just one of the ways that we prepare you for service, right? Um, our curriculum is one of the most extensive and, and unique um, throughout the region, all right? Uh, we not only offer, um, courses that um, align with the requirements of the Ministry of Education. So we're talking about things like um, jazz theory, we're talking about instrumental and, um, and choral conducting techniques, right? Um, these kinds of courses, but we also, um, you're gonna get a very, very strong background and foundation in, in composition and arranging. So if that's something that you are into, you know, our sequence all the way from uh, music theory, all the way to vocal arranging and orchestration. And, and these courses are going to help you to develop those skills so that you will be able to take some of that stuff that is in your head and put it on paper so that other people can, can play it and perform it effectively. And if you go to our um, YouTube channel again, you're going to see some examples of some of the work that our students have um, produced. All right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically, you know, what I want to say about the program. There's so much that can be said, but it is a really, really exciting program. It's an opportunity for you to take those skills and talents that, that God has given you and really be able to refine them and use them to, you know, to, to be a blessing to, to, to others and to ex expand your, your sphere and your circle of influence. Um, we're going to be hosting some, some more direct sessions to talk about um, the, the music department, some information sessions in the upcoming weeks. So if you guys are, uh, you know, interested in that, um, you can um, get in on those sessions. You can, you know, WhatsApp us, you can email us, you can contact for more information. But uh, for right now, you know, check out the brochure. I think I, I asked for the brochure to be put in the chat and you guys can put the flyer in the chat as well. You guys can go to our website, usc.edu.tt slash music and you can find out more information there. You can email us music at usc.edu.tt and we will be very, very happy um, to, to answer any questions that you have. Check out our, our YouTube page. Just look for USC Music. Um, you know, follow us on social media, USC Music TT. We're on Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook you know, whatever have you. And, um, you know, you can check out some of the great stuff that has been happening with us over the years. If you guys have any questions during the q and I'd be happy to, um, to deal with them. In the meantime, you can, um, as I make my exit, you can hear from one of um, our instructors that everybody has to um, go through his or theory and composition and, um, and also our string instructor, the director of the string program, Mr. Boyd Gibson, and here's what he has to say. Hello, my name is Boyd Gibson and I'm an assistant professor of music here at the University of the Southern Caribbean. 
The one thing that I discovered very quickly when I was an undergraduate student at Howard University was that I loved learning. And then I discovered that one way that I could keep learning was by teaching. And so I became a teacher. I've taught at the University of Eastern Africa in Kenya, and then I taught in the United States for, for many years before coming here to USC. I'm in my third year here, and I am responsible for teaching the strings, the violin, the viola, the cello, and the string bass and also for teaching all of the music theory classes and composition classes. So I teach music theory one, music theory two, music theory three and four, counterpoint, vocal arranging, orchestration, all of those classes. And the thing that I have discovered that every time I teach a class, I'm learning as I'm teaching every class that I teach. And so that is one of the greatest joys that I have. Besides being here in beautiful Trinidad, as opposed to uh, some place in the United States where it gets cold and wet and snowy, I don't have that issue here. And I have lived by this model that the biggest room in the world is room for improvement. And that encompasses every area of our lives. Music, health, relationships, everything can be summed up in the fact that we can always get better at what we're doing.
did. Uh, heavenly music, man. Heavenly music brought yes. to you by the very, you know, famous, the popular USC music department. And I think now is the time where I can now boast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it's my time. It's so, uh, my experience with the music department, of course, you know, my whole family is a music freak oh, yeah. <laughs> right it's it's a it's a family that is all musical everywhere you look we love instruments we love playing so of course usc music was like a no-brainer mm. um, for coming through but it, the thing is when i came to usc you know in my first year the program was not offered as you know bachelors um so i went with computer science and i did that for four years but during my comp side days karen hislop came up on the scene and the program you know got it like it started off and yeah. now we have the bachelors in music um so i was like do i leave trinidad or do i stay for like another three to four years and do the music i stayed for another three to four years <laughs> and i decided to do the music because it was i mean come on man i yeah. you were already involved with music on campus mm -hmm. right and even if you're not a music major the thing about the music department is you are you don't have to be a music major to be involved you could be a nobody which is a somebody to somebody right yeah. and you could just come in and so yes man <laughs> You could be a primary school, secondary school student. If you have the talent and the passion for it, they will accept you mm -hmm. and you will come and learn under the tutelage of, you know, the greatest music teachers out there today, nice. right? And you will be able to learn, you know, how to play instruments that you've never learned to play before. I learned how to play the French horn. Very, very, very hard brass instrument. Wow. I never learned it in my life, but I was able to pick it up under the tutelage of who I like to call the Master Miyagi, Mr. Pow, <laughs> right? He's the Master Miyagi of, like, <laughs> instruments in general. It turned out. You should look him up. He's great, right? And, of course, the experience that you get here the culture it's like a family it's legit like a family you will know everybody you will love everybody and you will just enjoy you know everything and it's music yeah. Yeah, like that's god's blessings to the entire world <gasps> right your emotions will forever be you know on a high it's just gonna be a, a fulfilling experience um you know overall so i am glad that i stuck around you know for those extra years just to fulfill my usc music dream and i encourage all of you guys out there who are interested in music thinking about music whether that be music production you know singing you know playing mm -hmm. an instrument right or composing you know for you know movies scores all that yeah. type of stuff come check out usc music you will not regret it one bit the networking fantastic yeah man. the performance ah, out of this the world. concert the concert come on oh, say, oh, talk oh, to me about the concert really mind blowing, blowing man it's, it's fantastic stuff man Right, yeah. and internationally recognized artists come down every single of course. Yeah, Christmas concerts, bro. Yeah, Boy. they come down, yes, and it's, it's it's a blast, man. It's a blast. Take me back. Yeah, I man. think the production for that was spectacular. Amazing. It was amazing. The angels, the main job. Mm -hmm. One thing I can definitely attest to. <laughs> I can definitely attest to every time I hear one of you, one of your choir songs and production, mm. I get chills. Yeah, it's chills. that deep. It's great. You know, there's this one that goes. Oh, that's it, fam. That's yeah. it. Of course, they travel the Caribbean. That's one thing. So if it has been your dream, let's say you're stuck in your country and you want to travel and mm. visit other countries, you could do that with music. Traveling, yeah. doing what you love, having a grand time, and going on the beach. Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> 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 right and just enjoy it overall man with usc music fam yeah. it is you will not regret it right it's a mm -hmm. lifetime enjoyment that you're gonna have with within a couple of years four four three four years depending on how long you stick around yeah. um and it's, it's just great man it's just great it's awesome and I'm, I'm loving you know being a part of it overall so i think right now is gonna be our q a section yep right? you're gonna be stemming in for all of you guys who are now live on you know youtube or facebook um you guys would have been posting up your questions again we're encouraging you guys who are now joining Joining us live, if you have questions concerning to either the department, the um, education and humanities, you know, school of education and humanities, um, yeah. whether that be with the English major or the music major, or you know, whatever other major that you would have heard, <laughs> you know, within the segment that's been going on so far, pose your questions now. So we go live to the chat. Yeah, we, we actually have some questions chat? coming in, and I think I can start off with education first. Miss um, Dr. Lavon Jacobs Brown will. Feel free to answer these questions, and if it is, I get if it is, we get into the music right after. Mm -hmm. Mr. Karen Hista will feel free to provide yeah. you guys with all the information you need. Okay, so first of all, for education, is the Bachelor in Education for Primary School gate approved? Yes, it most certainly is. It is gate approved. Nice. All right. 
um, someone asked if they can get more information about the Education Club. All right, so basically, the Education Club is a club that really fosters um, fraternity among our education students, you know, to create a, um, a sort of brotherhood kind of thing, brotherhood, sisterhood among the students. As you know, um, in professional programs, students um, generally tend to grow together as a cohort. They um, establish life, long lasting friendships and relationships professionally and personally. And so they are able to depend on each other thereafter. Sometimes you can never tell where you may end up and they provide that um, type of support. Also, what we do in the education club is to get past students who are now in the teaching fraternity to come and work along with the current students so they are mentored. And that's one of the reasons our students are so strong as it relates to some of the soft skills that principals generally have issues with from other um, student bodies. You know, but because of the education club and the whole mentorship emphasis, where we get past students who are currently teaching to come into work along with the current ones, it strengthens that. So that's primarily what we do at the um, in the education club. We do different types of professional development programs and and so on. Yeah. So that's what the education club basically does. Question, what are the entry requirements for the music degree? What are the entry requirements for the music degree? I think Mr. Hislop, we'll go to you for that one. All right, uh, thank you very much. The entry requirements, basically we have uh, two ways of assessing your readiness for um, entry into the music program. Uh, well, first of all, you got to have uni uh, university acceptance, right? So university level acceptance would be your five um, O levels, right? Um, or mature entry or whatever, whatever other means um, you utilize to gain um, entry to the university. For the music program itself, um, the students are required to audition on their primary instrument. So whether it's guitar, flute, saxophone, harmonium, whatever your, your instrument is, you, you do an audition recorder. on that recorder, yeah. Um, you do an audition on that instrument based on your um, assessment by the instructor. That is going to take care of one level. Um, there's also a theory placement exam that everybody will take um, that is going to assess your level of theory. Now, with both of those, um, the, the benchmark is at about a grade 5 ABRSM. So that's what they're going to be looking for. Um, if you don't have the ABRSM certificate, um, no need to worry. Um, if you do, that's that's great, you know. But not everybody does. Um, you can still be assessed um, at an entry level that that can take you directly into the program, even if you don't have the certificate itself. Um, if there are, um, you know, weaknesses identified, we do have what we call a preliminary music program, um, where we say, okay, you you might be weak in this particular area, so we advise that you do. Um, some combination of prerequisite courses. So it, it can be uh, music foundations and orals. Um, it can be additional lessons on your instrument, your primary instrument. And um, so these, these uh, preliminary courses can, if you do well enough in these preliminary courses, it, it may take a semester or two um, ad additional. Um, pass with a B average and that is going to gain your acceptance into into the program but if you if you are successful uh, with the audition and successful with the tier replacement exam um, then we we allow you straight acceptance into the music program all right lovely 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 man excellent excellent all right we have a question um, yet again um, for the music um, coordinator can I do music production here at um, USC Music? That is coming all the way from St. Martin. Can I do 
music production here at the music department? Uh, thank you very much for that question. Um, and I would be happy to, to answer yes, right? Um, well, first of all, um, as, as far as non-degree opportunities go, um, you know, maybe Anton can speak to that, but there are quite a number of opportunities for you to practice and to hone your skills um, as far as, as audio as well as video production is concerned. Um, from the degree side, we are going to be um, offering starting in September our um, emphasis in music technology and we're very, very excited about that. So that emphasis um, is, is going to, to, to place a lot of focus on the whole area of, of recording and, and music production and, you know, even, even um, live sound engineering and so on to, to some extent. So we know that's an area that a lot of people are interested in. So we are going to be bringing that online from this, uh, this upcoming school year. Um, it's good to hear about the music production, um, yeah. music technology program coming in in September. That's exciting, man. Of course, you know, current students can also take, you know, a part of, of you know, some of the new courses that we can expect. Um, right, Mr. Hislop? Yeah, that, that's correct. Um, I, was, I was hoping you would talk to them about some of the, the production that's involved in, in that we've been doing over the last two years oh, that, man, that's been... involved in producing these videos and stuff. Man, if you, if you want me to boast, I, I could go ahead and let loose, <laughs> man. I could let loose on this whole <laughs> session, right? So the music department has been doing a lot of virtual productions, right? Um, and I, I, I want to say I would like to tease to the, you know, what's going to come out. Do I have permission to tease, you know, the product that's coming out at the end of this month in particular? Or is it still supposed to be, you know, a gift-wrapped present under the Christmas tree? Yeah. Yeah. Knows, De right? Depends on how long the tease is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what, for what I can say right now, right, um, because we don't want to spoil too much. But, yes, the music department is involved in, it's, it's taking an entirely new approach to the way that we do music. Of course, we're living in the COVID times, the pandemic days, right? Um, and everything is now virtual as a result the production quality and you know just everything that goes into you know production nowadays is on a next level right um, from audio recording studio recordings recording at home to video recording and video production um, and the way all of that is you know orchestrated and you know put together it is quite a task right but of course we have created here at the USC music program a simple easy fun process for every single video production and of course we're trying to Again, everything that we do here is to put USC out there on the map to let the world know that USC has mad, 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 mm -hmm. mad talent, man. So again, if you enjoy the productions that you see out on the USC Music YouTube channel, right, or some of the productions that might be posted on the university's official channel, share with your friends, share with everybody that you know, man, right? Because the world deserves to see this is the, this is local, regional talent, right? This is uh, our Caribbean talent displayed out there for the world. Why wouldn't you want to share that <laughs> with, with the world, man? And yeah. it rivals that of any, you know, production that you could see out there um, on the international market. So that is, that is some of the exciting things that you could be a part of. For those of you who are coming into USC Music and you have skill sets like video editing, right? Or you've worked with camera, all kind of studio work um, before, then feel free to lend your skills, right? You are most welcome and your skills will be utilized to the highest degree. You will come in, you will learn so much, right? And you will end up leaving not just with a music degree, but with your sharpened skills, right? That could take you out there. And you might, that might actually even influence what you decide to do in the future. You know, USC, man, holistic education is the morale of this university. Of and it, it yes, shows it in every single department. Yeah. That's right. All right, so we have another question here. Do I need to have experience playing an instrument for me to get into the music program? Mm, good question, man. Yeah. Unfo unfortunately, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, if, you do, if you do not currently have experience, then uh, the Music Academy that I, I mentioned um, is probably a good fit for you. So in the Music Academy, you can you know, get yourself hooked up with one of our tutors and um, take lessons um, on your prospective instrument, you know, um, whether it's voice or 
you know, an, an wind or, or percussion or, or brass instrument. Um, so you can start off there, you know, and then work your way up um, into the degree program. But I mean, every, every situation is specific, you know, so we'd be happy to chat with you directly um, on your, your particular case. Um, for education, sorry. <laughs> like to become a journalist. What degree does USC offer? Yeah, if you'd like to be a journalist. That's a wonderful question. Definitely, I can recommend the English degree mm -hmm. because um, it allows you to hone in your writing skills as well as to look at areas of communication. How do I communicate? Um, we do have a specific course for students who are interested in journalism. It's an introduction to journalism course. That's one course out of the myriad of courses that you would engage in. Because remember, in order to write, you need to know structure. You need to know how to string a sentence together. So your, your linguistics courses would be important your grammar courses would be important. Then your writing courses themselves would be important because they would aid in you understanding the different types of writing, the different genres of writing there are. So that by the time you're finished, um, it will give you that edge in terms of being able to write, whether it is narratives that you're going to write, whether it is that you're going to look at um, some specific types of writing, specific types of journalism. It also allows you to have that opportunity of doing interviews and writing reports. And one of the courses that we are bringing on stream in September is the writing workshop where we actually have students doing the specific type of writing and then having their documents, whatever it is they've written, published. So they're going through the, the phases of understanding, how do I move from the point of just writing to the point of publishing? What do I need to do? All right. So um, I would definitely say, come on board, register for the English degree, and the emphasis you would want to get into would be communication. There we go, there we go. Nice. Thank you, a lot of new Mrs. Things Sanderson. On stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you can just stay a few more minutes, I have two more questions for you. One of them, if I just wrote 2021 CXC exams, can I still apply for September, even though I have not yet received my results and I will not receive it in time for September? Well, the beautiful thing about USC is that we consider what is happening in our environment and we, we put things in place to deal with them. So I can tell you now what is happening is we are accepting all applicants, whether you have your CXC results or not. And one of the things that we're going to put that has been put in place is the opportunity for our students who are waiting their CSEC results to start classes in October. So those who already have their CSEC results, they are starting in September. But those who would get their results at the end of September slash the beginning of October, we what has been initiated by the government of Trinidad and Tobago, we, um, we would expect them to start classes October 18th. So yes, feel free, go ahead, apply, so that by the time you get your results, it would simply be you sending your slip to say, here are my results. I'm ready to start. Nice. Excellent. Thank excellent. you. I have one more question. Can the Bachelor of Arts in English be done part-time? And if so, how long would that take? Again, because it's part-time, it will be longer than the four years. Um, how long would be dependent on how many credits you do in a, in a particular semester? Because if you're doing two, two courses in a particular semester, and an average course would be three credits, the entire program would be 128 credits. 
So if you're doing six credits in a given semester, it is going to be longer than if you're doing 10 credits or 15 credits or 16 credits as, as is the, um, the, the, the average that students do. All right, so it would be dependent on you and your program, but yes, definitely you can look at doing this degree on a part-time basis. Nicely, nice, nice, nice. Thank you. You're very do we welcome. have any more questions? We do actually. We have music? some on Facebook right. um, for English, right? So for the Facebook users, yes, your questions are being seen. Um, and this one comes from uh, Alicia, I believe. Yes, Alicia, Alicia. or Alicia. I'm so sorry, Alicia. I'm, I'm, but I'm butchering. The question. the question today. You need to come to English, right? <laughs> right. So the question today. Good afternoon. Very, very, very well done. Oh, Can the BA in English be done part time? If so, how long would okay, it so take? Okay, so we actually just, we just answered that, that question. question. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> right <laughs> above um, Afisha, we have Alicia, and she's asking, mm -hmm. Hi, I did the Associate of Art degree in elementary teacher training, and I would like to complete my degree in special ed. What is the process, and do you still have the dual degree with St. Andrews in uh, the USA? Okay, doc, Dr. Brown? Sure. Talk to him. All right. So, no, we do not have the dual degree. All degrees are now University of the Southern Caribbean degrees. Um, so, your, in terms of how you go forward will be dependent on the country that you are coming from. Um, what country, can you say where the individual is from, maybe by the area code or something? No, no, no but, but generally, understand. okay, I'll answer it. I'll answer it generally. If you have an associate's degree in teacher training, um, it means that you would um, have the entry requirement of the um, 66, the um, 66 credits that would have been achieved via the associate degree. So basically, all you need to do is apply. It's an online degree. All you need to do is apply because you already have the prerequisite. All right, so I think we are become, um, beginning to wrap up now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. coming down to the end of our time I believe we've also actually spoken to the international recognition of our yeah. USC programs yeah. as well. Oh, right? yes. For those of you who are wondering um, if USC programs are internationally recognized, they, uh, yes, they, they are, are very accredited much so. accredited as well. Accredited as well, exactly, right? So fear yes. not, right? USC's got your back. If you have any other questions, feel free to email them to info, I-N-F-O, at U-S-C dot E-D-U dot T-T. You could also check out our website on our web pages at U-S-C dot E-D-U dot T-T. Excellent, excellent. Nice, nice, nice. All right, well, guys, that, that brings us to the end of our open day today, right? Unless one of you guys has a question or a statement <laughs> or a story that you'd like to a give. Tory. A little Tory. A little Tory. Tory time! <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't guys. think I have a Tory. No, you don't? Not today? <laughs> not today. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, this, this brings us down, you know, to the end of our open day session for yeah. today. Um, it has been a blast. You have been listening to the School of Education and the Humanities, Humanities. right? So for those of you who are listening on you, you might have gotten, you know, your answer, your questions answered. Good for you. For those who may not have gotten their questions answered, like Caden said, you could send all your questions again to uh, Madam Caden. Info, I-N-F-O at U-S-C dot E-D-U dot T-T. Yeah, That's right. I believe some of your answers also would have been answered previously that's so you right. can you know review this review um, recording session. that's right that's but right but guys we're not actually finished for today because mm -hmm. at 4 p.m we will return with graduate studies so if it is you are oh. interested in doing your masters or your graduate studies come right here again at yeah. 4 p.m that's four o'clock p.m eastern standard time Specific course? I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> but 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Trini time. Right? 4 p.m. Yes. Trini and Tobago time. <laughs> That's where you're going to get those graduate, um, 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 all you graduate, um, you studies persons who want to come through, get your master's and yeah. all that type of vibe. That session yeah, is some amazing for programs. Yeah, yes. man, no, I'm the, actually going to tune in myself, legit. actually. Yes. And the lecturers, man, the lecturers who handle that program is fantastic. 
fantastic. Yeah. Man. Big up Electra's, guys. It's a big up Electra's. Yes, man. City so Club, man. <laughs> oh, City Club, I'm so sorry. Yeah. There we go. That's right. <laughs> That was for y'all, graduate <laughs> studies lecturers, all of y'all. Yeah. All right, man. Well, guys, thank you again so much. I have been Anton Charles of the Anton Charles clan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and alongside me, the lovely... Kaden Esson Andy. from the Kaden Esson dynasty. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I don't even know what to put for myself. Uh, come on, man. Dig song. deep, bro. Dig deep, man. From the know. Isaiah Basson Empire. Em Empire. Mm. Empire. Mm. Okay, okay. From the monarchy. Oh, oh. oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's man. a good one. A man of culture. Right. Oh, before we go, we have an amazing outro. Oh, we do. We do have an all amazing right. so outro. This is, this, and now, when, again, for all you freshmen, you know, freshmen to be, um, every yeah. time we finish singing the USC school song, you must do this. Just, just do this <laughs> every time. Wherever you go on campus, if you go on campus, after your class, you know, you must end with this. And don't ask, right? Just don't come ask. to your first just class. Do it. Just do it. Just right? do it. Just do it. It looks something like this. Are you ready? Right. Ready? So picture this. The lecturer is done. <laughs> right? The class is ended. And then all of a sudden, everybody puts their pens and their books and their laps out down and does this in unison. And... Uh, <laughs> yes. That is exactly how it goes. You saw it here <laughs> first, right? Make sure you do this at the end of every yeah. single just class. Just hear that in your <laughs> minds and just like... All right, there we go. And if yes. the lecturer asks you, what are you doing? You'll be like, what do you mean? This is in, isn't this culture? <laughs> right? It'll catch on, right? I'm, I'm looking yes. forward to you guys who come to school 2025, man. I'm going to oh be seeing God. all of you guys doing that. <laughs> all right. Guys, we have to do the shameless plug right before we leave. We Value yeah. Voice Media Podcast at usc.edu.tt forward slash. VVM. That's right, man. Yeah. Check it all out, right. man, for all your good and content. And do not forget, graduate program deadline, August 15, 2021. Mm -hmm. Undergraduate deadline application, yeah. August 20th, 2021. And with that, we bid you a beautiful and wonderful farewell. Have a good session, ladies and gentlemen. Outro music? Yes, let's do it again. Well, would you fancy uh, an awkward pause instead? Let's do the France no, no, one. No, no, let's uh, let's do the, you know, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, 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 fancy yeah, music. Yeah, right, yeah, cool. yeah. Fancy music for the outro. <laughs> Why not? Oh, okay. All right! Yeah! <laughs> Open day 2021! <laughs> the energy! <laughs> it comes out from anywhere, man. <laughs> if you're hearing squeaking, that's not our chairs. We have two chairs at USC. <laughs> With logos out there. <laughs> Join us at 4 o'clock this afternoon, where we're coming to you live with the graduate studies here at oh, USC yeah. Virtual Open Day 2021. You won't want to miss this session. We have remarks from people that you will never see in your life until then. So don't miss out. Will you see the three of us? No! <laughs> we're not coming back, ladies and gentlemen. But you can catch us live. On Valley Voice Podcast. Bye. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>